Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to look at the Acara app and a couple of new functions that Acara have added to the app. One of which is a copy function and the other one is a what you might describe as a conditional, uh, or a time-based condition for your automations. So now the first of these is a copy, simple copy functions. So to demonstrate here, I'm just going to create a simple automation if the fan turns on, then turn on the nightlight on my Akara Hub. So I can save that and I can create a name for it. Let's say fan on, confirm that. And there's my automation. Now, if I slide my finger across, you can see now we've got three options, whereas before there were two. So we can copy that and it simply creates a copy of that automation, which you then can edit and change certain parameters on. So that's the first of the two. I'm going to delete these now. And then we're going to go to the second one. Now, the second one is, like I've said before, is to do with uh, conditionals and it's time based conditionals. So in this uh, example, what I'm going to do is create a new automation. And in this automation, I'm going to select one of my Opal wireless switches. So uh, this is just a double switch, so I'm going to say single click left and again for single click right. And so that's in the if section and I'm going to select if either or any condition is met. And then if the single click left or single click right button are pressed, then do something. But if you notice, we've now got an acting time button on either side, so I can click on one of those and I can choose the frequency of what day or week or whether it's the weekend to enable this automation along with a start and an end time. So in this example, I'm going to say start at 8 a.m. and finish at 1800 hours, 6, 6 p.m. Save that and then do the same for the second, second switch. So every day at 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Save that. So if any of these buttons are pressed between these times, then do something. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select send a push notification and I'm going to make it a customized one. So I'll say Opal switch has been used. Done. Let's save that and then I'll save this automation. And I'll just call it Opal switch activated. Confirm that. OK, so there's my automation. So basically what this does is if somebody presses either of those buttons between certain times of the day, which would be typically a work day, then I'll get a notification. Now, you can't do that in HomeKit. You can only get notifications for motion or a contact sensor, for example. So with the Acara, the Acara app, you can have a switch be pressed and then you can get a notification, which is quite handy. Why would you want to do that? though? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to create a second automation that says basically when I enable my away alert, my alarm essentially, then activate an automation and it's going to be the automation I've just created. And I'm going to say that and say away Opal, just for the sake of argument. Confirm that. So what basically happens now is whenever I set my alarm to away, this automation that I've already created turns on. And just imagine my switch was in my garage and for some reason somebody was able to get into the garage. Maybe I didn't have a contact sensor on the garage door. If these people just by instinct pressed one of these switches to turn a light on because it was dark so they could see something that they could then steal, perhaps I would get a notification. Now, obviously, if I was really serious about my security, I would have contact sensors everywhere, but we don't always do that. And maybe there's a time when maybe we forget to set our away alarm. Now, if you're not going to be 
If you're going to be at work all day and you're not looking at your phone, you might have forgotten to turn your alarm on. This automation will still work because even though you've not enabled the away alert automation, the automation will still work by itself. The second automation I created where it turns that activation or enables that automation is just a fail safe essentially. So these buttons will still send me a notification between those hours regardless of whether my alarm is on or off. And that's it basically. There are other ways to um, create other automations. For instance, you could set an automation that when the temperature rises above 30 degrees centigrade, the fan turns on and then you get a notification that the fan has turned on. Simple things like that. So the kind of the world's your oyster in terms of what you want to get notified about, but it's pretty useful nonetheless. Okay, well, that's it for now. And uh, come back again.